tonight we're off to see some of the old, well, the original gangsters, the OG van lifers. Now, I don't want to tell you too much, I want you to make your own opinion. Now these guys were doing it long before everybody else and uh, it turns out that some of my friends, people that I've worked with, actually do this and they love it. So I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to say any more. I'm going to leave it out there for you, but I think you might be pleasantly surprised. I've always had a fascination and an interest into this life, and in Cumbria, we embrace it. We celebrate it every year. Once we get here, I'll tell you, you'll kind of maybe get a little bit of an insight into what, what I'm talking about. Yeah, what I'm talking about. But just a bit season. We tried to do this last year, but our timing was really off. Our timing was so bad. We were at festivals and they were on their way to their gathering and we just couldn't meet up. So I'm so happy. We actually drove past them last night because we were on our way back from Van Life Festival. We'd arranged to meet up yesterday at Keswick, but it was so late in the day when we got to where they were. I didn't want to go and disturb them at, at 10 o'clock at night. So we, we drove by and, um, you know, we were courteous. We didn't tip our own or anything like that. We just made sure that they were on route and on, on track to where they should be. So I could come and meet them tonight because I know where they're parking up tonight. They know I'm coming and hopefully they'll embrace this like I embrace their, their, their culture and their community. But anyway. I'm dying to tell you what it is, I really am dying to tell you where we're going and who we're going to see. But I don't want to spoil it. I really don't want to spoil it. I'm just going to have to bite your tongue, aren't I? Anyway, we'll be there in 10 minutes. Bath and Swirt Lake, over there. Keswick in the distance, over there. Winlat Forest, there. who needs to get their finger out just there come on people this is what we have to put up with don't come here you won't like it look at it it's awful just lakes and mountains and trees just horrible 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 stay away so we're not far away a couple hundred metres down this road are the people that we're going to meet. I'm hoping you haven't guessed yet, but you might have you might have already guessed by the thumbnail. I'm uh, I'm doing all this trying to be sneaky about it, but obviously I'm going to put a picture on the thumbnail, aren't I? So anyway, let's go and meet them. Let's see how they've got set up for tonight. Wow. First impressions, what do you think? <laughs> so you might have worked out where these guys are going. So these guys make this pilgrimage to Appleby Horse Fair every year and they have their regular stops and this is one of them. So I'm gonna take you around now and show you some of the vehicles. I think it's tea time, so we'll try not to uh, interrupt them too much. I like that detail on them, eh? Oh, there's nothing much on these. Yeah, there's a lot of bits, isn't there? There's nice, it's nice. So you take much looking after them? No. Nothing. You're going to have to keep on top of Kent looking out. 
Just here, watch your abs. That's it. <laughs> if you didn't want any, anything want moves, you've got a grease nipple on it. Eh? Yeah. You know what I mean? And what's it pented in? Is it just like normal? No, it's, it'd be pented in the hole and where they come from. I think. All right. So you've never that touched that up or now? How long you had it? Looks well, doesn't it? The old wooden wheels are just the door. Is that a ridge monkey that wood? Do what? Is that a ridge monkey? Uh, Similar. TF gear. Uh, Can't beat them. No, they're good stuff. They were camped right behind me last night. <laughs> Alright, to get a look in. Alright, yeah. Fucking trouble here, aren't we? Yeah? Fucking trouble here, aren't we? Sorry, we're out of here. It's a mission, sir. I like that pizza. Try and move it. Try and move it. Try and move it. I've got details in there. You don't have for data to build this. It's not joining. Yeah. Uh, so, obviously, this one's got brakes on it. They all got brakes on it. Hmm? Alright, this is good to say. Uh, this is good. I'll go with it. Uh, How's that up there? You just fucked off. There's a pedal. There's a pedal on there. Is that there? Not your hand. Your hand. Mine's great. Right on black, Paul. Paul. Thing is, I've just got wide on. I like that as well. You can just hook it onto tractors, eh? Dave's van's built on a, a an old dray. Did you build that yourself, Dave? The top. The top part, aye. Somebody built it for us, aye. Right. Well, yours, Nathan, are you? Do you build yours? Yeah, I've built it. Just, uh, how long did it take us that? About three weeks a night. Three weeks. Three weeks of nights. Cool. Just, just like... 7 to 11, something like that. So is that, that like a dray as well? You yeah, you buy, buy you, the bottom bit. You buy the bottom carriage separate, yeah. and then these lift up and on. So oh, like, right. you, you can take these off, sit on the floor and then use your dray. So is that what I see you riding around on when I see yeah. you? Is that... Now and again, aren't you? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, cool. You've got two jobs, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it, you can use it. Multi-purpose, eh? Yeah. Does that one lift off as well then? Yeah, or is yeah. that... All, all right. All, all these drays besides Dave, um, they're all the same mate. I don't like them like. It's about time I made tracks. Everybody's fed and watered here. Horses are fed and watered and it's about bedtime but um, tomorrow's your big day. We've got a big push on tomorrow, about 16 mile is it? And that'll yeah. see us in Cliburn with a lay over it. We stop off at Lowther was it you said? So, so two days and you'll be at the fest the, the fair eh? So these are the power units. I don't know how far they do to a bale, but uh, oh yeah. <laughs> how peaceful is this, eh? It's a different way of life.
How could you be stressed out with a horse pulling you through the countryside at a couple of miles an hour? Hello. Hello. Let's <laughs> let's see you. Hello. Bonnie, aren't you? Well, we're out near Penrith. We've had a lovely evening chatting with lads. Um, I haven't seen a lot of them in a long time, so it's, we've had a real good catch up. I um, hope you've enjoyed the bits where I've showed you their vehicles. Um, it's it's beautiful. Hear the birds? Fells in the background. Farmers over here that look after them all. Give them water, let them graze the horses in the fields, look. Everybody's stopping, having a chat, really friendly, cars are coming by, video on. This is, these are the original, the original van lifers for me. And, you know, not all of them are gypsies, not all of them are travellers. Um, a lot of them are, have family connections where they've had horses all their lives. And they're kind of keeping up with tradition, keeping that tradition alive by riding the horses and carriages and bow tops and vans and caravans through to Appleby. And it's gone on for years and it's going to carry on for a lot longer, I think. Especially now, there's, I think there's a bit of nostalgia as well, you know. We don't want to see it disappear. Obviously, Appleby has its problems. Um, like any big event, you know, you get people together, throw in drink, and things happen. But the majority of the people that are going there are going there for the good of the festival, the good for the gathering, and that's how they want people to see it. These guys are yeah, perfect example. All settling down for night. So I enjoyed the crack last last night that much. I've come back out this morning just to catch a capture. Um, the lads putting the horses on the carriage and uh, see how all that goes ahead. How it all comes together. And we've even managed to drag Riley out of bed. Another beautiful day. Just, yeah, they love it. Bit, bit harder, because they, they like it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> how, how quiet is that? And calm. Just a tiny little horse, this one, isn't it? Hello, morning. Morning. Wanna give it a little pet? Mm-hmm. Where? Just on, on the head, on the neck. <laughs> it's it wonders it's trying to work out what you're wearing. Mm. What's a bitch called then Dave? Wow. Like the the bits of guy on the hoss. Is that like an altar or something? No, that's a saddle. All right, then. Uh, the shaft is over here. Uh, that, that's what I do. That's what takes the weight of your shaft. So. That goes down his back. Like that. That goes down his backside. Ah, oh, right. And then that fastens onto your cart, so when you're coming down here, you the never put brakes on. Yeah. But it, it holds you back with that concrete. Yeah. yeah. That's your back That's your hands, that's your weight. 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 That's your weight.
Go on, lads. Wheelie, <laughs> get on the back wheel. <laughs> oh, that young's electric at back. Look, uh, cheating. That's cheating. I've put my missus on it. That's fantastic. What's the MPH on that, Jan? MPH. MPH. Miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're doing, I was doing 12 That's that stuff then Paul, just like, right, just to stop and get the saw off. Yeah. Uh, I just asked Paul there if they're all male horses, so they're called geldings. Uh, they're a bit more, uh, a bit calmer. <laughs> I'm amazed how calm they are, just stood there letting you do that. It's, it's brilliant to watch, I've never ever seen anything like this. I'm really, really interested in how it all goes together. I love how much care goes into putting these pieces of equipment on correctly. And obviously you don't want to hurt your horse, so you're taking that time to put it on properly taking care that the horses don't get hurt by wearing this equipment. That's, it's impressive, the effort that's involved. Now, this is the bit I come to see. I've never ever seen this done in my life. And I'm just interested how it all goes together and all connects up. Seeing the horses with all this gear on reminds me of ornaments my grandma used to have, you know. I grew up as a kid and I'd play with the horses and carriages. They were ornaments, but she still let me play with them. I haven't been cocking the show in years. There's always somewhere, somewhere else to be, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Just patiently waiting. <laughs> When they're all hooked up, do they just want to go? So Nathan's just going to bring his horse a little bit closer to his dad's and just tie it off so it doesn't attempt to run away. It's been in interesting to learn how it all works, yeah. Have, once, once, you, have, once you know, you kind of know if you get what I mean. Yeah. Oh, two seconds, Dave. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mind, Obviously, Can't understand you pull them along, but I never realised the back bit was to help when you're going downhill, right, yeah. Eh? There you break. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I say, these with the heavy carriages have got brake, yeah. but like generally, that is your only brake if you get one of these. Yeah. I could see the advantage of a foot brake on that other hand, like it's yeah, tidy, yeah. 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 Well, you can work it with your hand, it's that easy, eh? So yeah. you can sit on and just ease it off and on, sort of thing. Whereas with these, 
if you're walking beside them, it's quite awkward to, if you're going down the hill to turn it, right. because generally when you get down the hill, there's a hill to go back up sort of thing, so right. you've got to get it off sharpish because they want to get going again. Keep the momentum going there. Yeah. Eh? by Nathan as It's going to be warm though, mother. Hindsight, <laughs> yeah. yeah? I'll just have to remember where to walk because I've got my flip-flops on. <laughs> Alright, don't go through the... Uh, <laughs> don't, don't, don't go through the crawling <laughs> car. Quick, eh? I thought it would have took an age to sort them out, eh? Hey, it can't take that long, really, because they want the guy from oh, the right. so. It's interesting, I think people will find it interesting watching video. We've, uh, well, it we've had some excitement with him before, haven't we? <laughs> I blue usually likes to go, go, go. All oh, right. He does a little big jog. Sometimes we Yeah. Uh, he pulls a wheelie or two. Good lad. Must just, must just like it. Uh, it gets I'll see, what you... <laughs> I'll see what you mean. I'll see it with the road will have it. No. <laughs> and that's them off. So today's a long leg, 16 miles. And look at that. That's beautiful that. That's proper, proper. I love that. And look, no mess, no disruption, no trouble, nothing. Maybe the horse poo, but hey, it's free, come and get it if you want it. What a way of life. What a brilliant way of life. I, I, I get it. I really do, really do get it. That was me picking up something that just blew down the street, so. Look at, what a backdrop as well. What a wonderful place to camp up. These lads, these lads know what they're doing. Don't know about you, I found that really interesting. I come last night, I had a real good crack with them. I've been wanting to do this for years. I got so much out of it last night, I had to come back today and I just loved it, absolutely loved it. I hope you have. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to try and get some footage of them out on the road now and we'll close with that. But I hope you've enjoyed this, it's a different look on van life. For me these guys are the originals and simply the, you know, the best to do it. We don't do anything they don't do. We just do it a little bit quicker. You know, they're, they're welcomed by the farmers, these guys. Every year, 
they're ready for them coming the guys over here give them access to water um, somewhere to graze the, the horses overnight it's not all doom and gloom but anyway I'll see you again thanks for watching